We spent a huge amount of engineering time re-architecting every element of the chip for power efficiency. So we looked at every block, you know, every area on chip and said, how can we make that just more power efficient as well as deliver great performance? So the whole chip is much more efficient at 195 watt TDP for an enthusiast class GPU. That's significant and it's higher performing than any other product on the market right now. So obviously, like I said, high performance for gaming, but we added a couple really cool new features. One is called GPU Boost. So we can dynamically vary the clocks and the power and deliver, uh, take advantage of the power headroom that may be available still for every different game. So when a gamer runs a game, it might run at the base clock, which is 1006 megahertz, say gigahertz, but it might vary up to, gosh, 1200 megahertz. It can dynamically change based upon the available power envelope that's, that's there, the headroom that's available. So it's a really cool technology. It's like overclocking on steroids, but much, small, much smarter than overclocking, just standard overclocking. So GPU Boost, we think, is going to be a great feature that gamers will love. Another feature is called Adaptive V-Sync. So we will provide the benefits of V-Sync to keep uh, from tearing, from the frame tearing, as well as the benefits of being able to have no V-Sync when you're below 60 FPS so that you have nice and smooth gaming without stutter. So when you start uh, testing and looking at adaptive VSync, you will see that the gameplay is just much smoother. Um, another area is our new TXAA technology, which is a temporal AA technology, where we can take samples from adjacent frames as well as within the frame and have better filtering technology to filter all the AA samples to give you really close to film-like quality. It's amazing. It raises the level of AA to, to the next level, essentially. Well, what's cool about the GTX 680 is that it operates, again, at a 195 TDP max, and it'll likely operate below that in many cases, too. We have great new cooling technology built in, okay, new heat sink and, and heat pipes built in that keep the GPU very cool. The board is shorter, so it fits in more chassis, okay, than you've seen in enthusiast boards before, and it runs really quiet, okay, like 46 dB, very quiet very cool, fits in more chassis. It's really a great, great combination for, for gamers of all sorts of enthusiast gamers. They'll be thrilled that these will fit in their chassis and run cool and quiet. Oh, we're, we're certainly compatible with DX11 and 11.1, .1, so, you know, when Windows 8 comes out in force, we will be there and we'll be able to work with Windows 8 no problem. As we're doing today, we've got a big event here and we're really excited to come into the region more frequently from headquarter guys like myself and I know we're building our presence up in Malaysia. We love Malaysian gamers, so we expect to see a lot more NVIDIA in Malaysia going forward for sure. What we'd like to introduce today is the GeForce 600M series lineup. And what we'd like to talk about is that's two times more performance efficient than the 500 series of last year. So with two times the performance efficiency, you're able to get twice the performance in even thinner and lighter systems, like for example, the Acer Ultrabook today. So the same, the same dedication we have to, to efficient performance that we put in the desktop line, we have put even more care into the notebook line as well. In a notebook system, performance efficiency is extremely important because battery life is so important and also being able to squeeze it into even thinner and lighter systems is becoming more important for consumers. So with our focus on this, we're able to bring even better performance in even smaller and thinner uh, systems today. So cooling efficiency is something that we work very closely with OEMs. We have years of experience working with large desktop type systems to even the smallest Ultrabooks today. So as, as years progress, we'll become better and better working with OEMs to provide the best uh, thermal capabilities for the notebooks that, that can meet the needs of consumers. So this is possible with our 2x performance efficiency um, increase compared to last year. On something like the GeForce GT 640M, you're able to play all the games at maximum details, something that you couldn't do in the past. And you can also turn on a lot of other features like DirectX 11 or PhysX for even better realism than before. What I, what I would tell people is they should be able to do everything they want to do on the notebook. 
Making a notebook purchase decision is extremely important for them because it's something that they carry with them for years. And we think that having great graphics performance along with long battery life is extremely important for anything that they want to do. So having something with GeForce dedicated graphics with the best uh, notebook that they like to have is really the best decision for them.